you know, through this, I've been in the business for like 16 years, man. We've been underground. If you don't recognize me, it's because we've been underground. So if you're not paying attention to that, independent is the way to go now. But we were like kind of pioneering the independent thing, you know what I'm saying, in the early 2000s. And so we get the chance to meet a lot of celebrities and we have on our way up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so we were in Michigan. I don't even remember why we were there. I know we were working with this producer there. And he was a producer for Kid Rock. Also, our sound guy that we have forever, Brother Al, he was with Kid Rock. So they tell us, man, we're going to go over to Kid Rock's house and kick it tonight, me and Tech. So we go over there, and as soon as we get in the room, as soon as we get in the house, he's standing there. And I'm kind of like, damn, it's Kid Rock, damn. So we walk in, and they all call him Bob. If you, if people that know him know him, that's what they, everybody would know him call. So I walk in, and they're like, man, this is Bob, man. This is Chris Calico. This is Tech Nine. And he, so I'm, you know, I look like this. So he like... What's up with your face, man? I said, what's up with you being in my face, nigga? And he said, I like this sub bitch already. Come on in. Puts his arm around me. And this is tech I always laughs because this is how it happens. I always get really cool with the people. So I'm up there. Uh, <laughs> I sit in there. We talking. Finally, he's like, Chris, you play any instruments? I said, nah, man, but I write everything. I write country, rap, gospel, rock, metal. You know, everything, you know what I'm saying? So he's like, come upstairs, let me show you something. So I go upstairs and I'm looking at these plaques. And I never seen a plaque that had somebody that went diamond. I didn't even know what that was at the time. That's 10 million records sold. So he sold 10 million records. He got this diamond plaque. And I'm looking at all his plaques. He has a big ass house. We come in the gate, you know, there's this big wrought iron gate that opens up. And it's this big mansion, and then you go around the mansion and go, and there's this house back in the back, a guest house, but that's his studio home. So that's where we met him, and that's where all his plaques are. So he tells me, come up in the garage. I come up in the garage, and he got it set up like a studio, uh, like a recording studio, but it's like pianos and all kind of stuff. And he's like, yeah, man, me and Hank Williams Jr., we wrote songs in here. And I'm like, cool. And he starts playing me this song. Then he plays me another one. He plays me another it's Like 12 songs later, he's playing me, and I'm... So now... The, the, the shine of the Kid Rock thing is gone. And now I'm like, okay, this nigga gonna play me every song he ever wrote. So he's playing me stuff he got with Run DMC that nobody's ever heard. So then he starts playing on the piano. Outstanding. And I don't go da da boom, boom. Girl, you knocked me out. He starts playing. He's like, pick that bass up. I was like, I don't really know how to play, man. He's like, just figure it okay, just figure it out. Go no by no. So I, I feel my way through it. So in a minute, because I can, I pick up music quick. I'm boom, 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 because I can't get the boom, ba da ba da boom, boom, because I don't play. So he's like on the piano and he's like, hey, it's ba da ba da ba ba ba. And I'm like, nah, I, I know that. I don't play an instrument, so I'm not gonna get the ba da ba da ba boom, boom, man. I'm just gonna go boom, 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 boom. So let's jam. So, uh, um, the producer of the dude, Mikey Clark is his name. He gets on the drum. Yeah, I could do boom, hey, boom, 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 boom. I think I'm jamming. A bomb, bam, bomb. He stops again. Hey, motherfucker. I said it's ba ba da ba bum bum. I said, listen, motherfucker. I said I can't play ba da ba bum bum bum. Fuck you, kid rock. You know, so he's like, fuck you. And Tech comes up like, whoa, 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 what's going on? I'm like, this motherfucker want me to play this shit. I don't know how to play. We arguing over stupid shit. I'm like, I don't know how to play this shit, man. Just play the fucking song. Let's jam. Meanwhile, this is being video recorded. He's recording all of this shit. So somewhere he's got this. You know what I'm saying? So we start jamming again and we rocking the shit. And then he puts a mic up to me and we just singing. So I'm jamming with this dude. We playing all kinds of songs for like hours in his garage. One of the dopest times I ever had and craziest arguments I've ever had with another celebrity. So we leave from the garage, go downstairs. He's like, man, um, Tech plays him. So all while this is going on, let me back up. I was just going on, he has a photo booth. You know, you can get in there, those little photo booths in the mall. So all while that's going on, when I come out of the room, I see Tech sitting in there and Tara Reed, by the way, I forgot this part of the story, Tara Reed, I don't know if y'all know who Tara Reed is. She's from um, Van Wilder, National Lampoon's Van Wilder, and some other shit. She was, like, pretty cracking for a minute back when, like, Paris Hilton and them was really popping big, you know? So Tara Reed is in this booth, photo booth, with Tech, and I see this dude, and he's, like, you know, me mugging Tech and the girl, and I'm like, okay, that must be old girl, but I don't even know. This is dude from the Red Wings. Sergey Fedorov is his name. 
you know what I'm saying? I don't I had no idea who this guy was because he's I don't really follow hockey, but apparently he's like a humongous hockey star. Tara reads his girlfriend and she's in the she's in the uh photo booth acting like a dicky mouth with tech. You know what I'm saying? All over him. Like when you see the picture, she's like kissing all on him. You can see like every shot is like tech trying to get away from Tara Reed. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm looking like so they're like, dude, that's Sergey Fedorov. So I'm thinking in my head, oh, we finna fuck Sergey Fedorov up because he finna trip with <laughs> Tech. So we got to jump this thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. I'm like, how you doing, bro? Hey, homegirl, what's your name? I didn't know who she was at the time. And I'm saying, uh, hey, homegirl, she's like, Tara Reed. And I was like, Tara Reed, okay. Hop out the booth, man. Your dude is tripping. You know what I'm saying? And Because I'm usually the vocal one. And Tech's like, thanks, man. And he gets her off. She's like, Hi, I'm Tara Reed. I was like, Chris Gallagher, how you doing? She's like, you know, you don't know me is what she's saying. I'm like, nah. So, you know, we're drinking pretty heavily, you know. Um, uh, 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 Kid Rock's a cowboy, so we drink whiskey, of course. But I can handle my liquor, so I'm not tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to actually calm it down because I'm thinking like, damn, this dude's supposed to be this guy. We jump him. But maybe we should, though, because that would be like maybe some good press for us. But I, we chill. So Tara Reed says, I'm Tara Reed. I'm like, I'm Chris Calico. She's like, you don't know me? I said, nah, your name sounds familiar. You look hella familiar. She was like, yeah, I mean, Van Why She starts rattling off all the movies she's been in. Like, oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember you. Yeah, all right, right on. Good to meet you, baby. Cool. So we all go downstairs. Kid Rock pulls, he's got all of these guitars like lined up on his wall. Pulls one down, he starts playing. He loves to show off, you know what I'm saying? I do too, so that's cool. You know, so he pulls one off the wall, he starts showing off again, playing and stuff. And then he's DJing and I'm messing with the guitar and all this. So he's like, name this girl's name, I don't remember, but he said she's about to come by with the shit. I'm like, what's the shit? I wonder what the shit is? Gotta be some dope or something. So this girl comes in and she's at the top of the stairs. The stairs are made of brick like this. She's at the top of the stairs with this bottle. And she's like, is everybody ready to party? Ready to fucking party? The top of this thing, and she takes a swig of this liquor and falls all the way down the stairs. These uh, brick stairs. Bah, boom, bah, boom, bah, 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 boom. Bah, hits the bottle. And she's face down like this. Everybody's laughing. I ain't laughing. Because I'm thinking if she's dead, we the only niggas in here. It's going to be a problem. Some shit if the cops show up. So I'm like, uh... Is she okay, man? So I go over to her, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feel for a pulse. I'm right into the action, like, feeling for a pulse. I can't feel shit. And she's like, bottle down, face down in the ground. And so Bob goes over there, like, Kid Rock goes over there, like, he's touching her to see if she's cool, like, trying to wake her up. She won't budge, dude. I'm like, she's, please just be knocked out. I'm thinking she's dead as hell, man. And so I turn over to Tech. I'm like, hey, man, hey, nigga, we got to get the fuck out of here right now. We just starting, like, this is like, two, uh, for this at this year, this is probably 04, 05, maybe. Maybe even later than that. Maybe maybe like 06 or 07, like that, or something like that. So we just starting to get cracking, really, in underground. I'm like, Ted, we got to get the fuck out of here, man. Let's go, nigga. Let's go right now. And he's like, man, just be calm. I'm like, no, man. It's all white people. We black. Somebody's dead. We going to jail, dog. I just, I feel it in the air. So... She's um, there. This is probably 15 minutes later. We still there. He's going to call the paramedics, you know, or they call the paramedics or whatever. She's like down on the ground, face down like this, with the bottle still in her hand. And finally, he's laying there. He's like, no, nah, man, she does this all the time. She'll be cool. Give it just a minute. And then she goes, whoa, fuck. You guys ready to fucking party? And gets up. She gets up just like the wreck that I told you about before. She gets up. Pulls out the bag of coke, sprinkles the shit on the table. Everybody starts snorting coke. I'm like, nigga, I'm the fucker because I, don't, I ain't never did that shit in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Kansas City. I ain't never seen none of this shit. So I get up. I'm like, nigga, we got to go. By this time, mind you, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, though. It's seven in the morning, so we get out of there. They wouldn't take us home, so we I called a cab. I went outside, looked at his address, called a cab. We got the fuck out of there. And I hadn't seen him until he was playing in Kansas City at the Midland. And um, his bus was in, you know, when we play in Kansas City, our bus is parked the same place as it, because they parked the star coaches at the same place. And I could see a hand uh, holding a cigarette out the back window of the bus. This was just like two years ago. I said, Bob! And he raised up and looked out the window because I guess only his friends call him that. And I'm like, Chris Calico, man. And he's like, looking like, who the hell are you? And I was like, all right, man, whatever. So, you know, it was just like one of many crazy things that's happened in this 
journey of crazy tour stories. They did the show, this is when they formed Strange Music. This particular show, and I was a high school kid on that show. You dig know what I'm saying? And uh, I was supposed to have left two weeks later to win and turn myself in to go play ball. And I was like, fuck it. So we get out the car. Keep in mind, our car wasn't on the road anymore. It was in the, it was in the ditch. And we look over, we see the dude's car. And I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking pissed. I, I think I have socks. I don't remember what the fuck. Because we were just comfortable. It was a car. Right? We were just, one minute we were warm as fuck. And then the next minute it was cold, bloody shits, glasses everywhere. And they sent us with two hookers on each arm across the street. And we're sitting in the VIP, we're surrounded by prostitutes. And we weren't allowed to buy our own drinks. They had to buy our drinks for us. And maybe some rappers are used to this, but when I'm like a 22 year old man, that was, I was, that was not happening for me. That's still not happening for me. There's like four or five cops pull up to this gas station. And one of our guys was on the tour. It's coming out of the gas station, sees the driver. And he's like, hey, Link, what's up? You know, what's going on? What's the deal? Is everything all right? Somebody messing with you? Cause we had been really cool with her. We had never had any beef with her. She's like, excuse me, I'm talking to the police right now. And it was like, oh, snap. Okay, like, hold up.